BitBoy Crypto is smelling secret Cardano explosion next week. Shocking Cardano secret exposed. Last weekend, crypto analyst and influencer Ben Armstrong, who is the host of YouTube channel BitBoy Crypto, talked about Cardano ADA in a video for his super popular YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk all about what BitBoy revealed about Cardano and why he's so bullish on Cardano. So watch this video till the end, because today's video is going to be the bomb. Welcome to Cardano Land, your daily dose of Cardano. If you're interested in everything around Cardano, this is the place for you. Subscribe if you want to stay updated with all the Cardano news, predictions, and stay one step ahead in the crypto world. Make sure to hit the like button for us to provide you with more Cardano news. Don't forget to enable all notifications to join our weekly cash giveaway pinned in the comments. Before we get to our topic, let's take a look at the chart and see what the price of ADA is doing on the 28th of December, shall we? On the 24-hour chart for Cardano price analysis, the 24-hour relative strength index, RSI, shows encouraging signs with a healthy market valuation at 52.88. The moving average convergence divergence, MACD curve, also sits well above its neutral zone, just below the 0.00 mark, indicating that the current trend is valued in the market for further movement upwards. These healthy indicators would serve as encouraging signs for buyers to come into the market to push price towards resistance floor at $1.47. According to majority technical indicators, ADA looks set to move upwards to reach the $1.47 resistance, where further consolidation is expected to take place towards the $1.60 mark. The daily and hourly RSI show healthy market valuation, with seemingly enough strength in the current trend to take price upwards, presenting an ideal buying opportunity for both short and long-term buyers. Now let's get back to the topic. Famous YouTuber Ben Armstrong, popularly known as BitBoy Crypto, has recently aired his opinion regarding the trend of Cardano ADA. Armstrong had this to say about Cardano. He said, Their roadmap is painstakingly mapped out to capture any corner cases to keep the bugs to a minimum. Even on their website, they describe Cardano as peer-reviewed and evidence-based. This laser focus means that Cardano is primed to be a lean, powerful machine ready to take the lead over their competitors. To say I'm bullish, though, on Cardano is an understatement. Besides all the nerd talk about peer reviews, Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson has made it a point to embrace decentralization. Calls it out often. Cardano is looking to help second and third world nations come out of poverty and better their people. A lot of the reason countries like Colombia or Botswana are struggling is because they lack the infrastructure to protect people's property. How can you show proof of ownership of land or farming equipment or an insurance policy if the government or insurance companies only have a paper trail leading back to when the last military coup burned all the documents in town five years ago or paid Russian hackers to wipe those servers? BitBoy also said, I bought Cardano back in January when it was around 15 cents for ADA. I saw its potential and went big. I bought a million ADA. So far, that's really worked out well for me. Really, really, really well. BitBoy's price prediction conservatively for Cardano in this cycle is a four times from its current price of $1.70, which would be $6.80. But here's the thing that's setting ADA up for such a big pump. It's shown amazing resilience to price fluctuations compared to other alts during this bull run. It smashed its all-time high repeatedly. He predicts in his most bullish scenario that ADA can hit $8 to $9 this year. In the course of the conversation, Ben Armstrong and also Crypto Jeb shared their reasons for being bullish on Cardano ADA. According to Armstrong, other similar projects such as Polkadot and Elrond also have a place, but the major focus is on the two giants, which are Cardano ADA and Ethereum ETH. Ben Armstrong shared his viewpoint and also said, I love Cardano. I think Cardano and Ethereum are going to be around for a long time. I think Polkadot factors in somewhere, but I really personally believe more in Ethereum and Cardano. I think that Polkadot has a place, I think Elrond has a place, and Solana has a place. But I think we're looking at the two giants here, and I think they're going to remain that way. We're seeing now some institutions are looking at Cardano, and I think there's a reason for that. They understand the long-term play. CryptoJed also has a positive remark for Cardano. He mentioned the fact that ADA has a maximum supply, unlike Ethereum. Jed is of the opinion that Cardano ADA has the potential to perform outstandingly in the long term. He said, you can look at the whole cryptocurrency market as one massive index fund that all moves together. A lot of these cryptocurrencies have very high correlation. So whenever Bitcoin rallies, the altcoins are naturally going to follow. And in fact, the altcoins are outpacing Bitcoin right now. One of the reasons that I love Cardano is that unlike Ethereum, it actually has a maximum supply of 45 million coins. Ethereum does not at the moment have a maximum supply, 
which means that it is subject to continual inflation unlike Bitcoin, and in this case, unlike Cardano. So while both of them do something similar as far as an investment in the coin, he also added that, I think Cardano is going to do exceptionally well in the long term, especially as it's coming out of that price discovery phase that happened in quarter four of last year. It's rallied up to $1.48, and I think based on all the fundamentals that you and I are talking about here, it's going to go much higher. I think in the next two years, it could go between $5 and $15. In fact, in the next couple of months, I think it's going to go to more like $2 to $3. The IOHK CEO Charles Hoskinson also gave his perspective on why Cardano will outshine Ethereum 2.0. In an interview with Ben Armstrong, aka BitBoy Crypto, Hoskinson spoke about Cardano having a simpler and more robust design than Ethereum. What's more, he doubts whether this added complexity will result in higher throughput, better scalability, and more security for the Ethereum network. The number of Cardano ADA wallets has grown over 1,200% year over year, from 190,000 to 2.5 million, showing that adoption of the cryptocurrency's network has been steadily growing, partly thanks to the implementation of smart contracts. According to data shared by the Cardano Foundation, from last Christmas to now, the number of ADA wallets has grown by over 1,200%. According to available data, the price of the cryptocurrency has grown nearly 780% over the same period. According to Crypto Compare's recent asset report, in October there were 50,506 active addresses on the Cardano blockchain, while in November there were a total of 216,072 active addresses. Grigard added that the Cardano ecosystem has seen its utility and adoption grow, partly thanks to the successful launch of the Alonzo hard fork, which brought programmability to Cardano allowing it to accommodate smart contracts and with them, decentralized applications, of which the decentralized finance, DeFi space, is built around. Supporting smart contracts has seen a number of platforms move to become the first Cardano-powered decentralized exchanges. In his post, Grigard also noted that Cardano also formed a number of new partnerships, which include esports platform, Rival, fintech firm, UBX, and nonprofit organization, Save the Children. Over 70% of ADA supply has been staked on the network, earning holders interest as they wait for new decentralized applications to be launched. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. Also, we would like to mention that this is not a channel intended specifically to provide financial advice, and we do not ask you to invest in any company. This is merely a channel directed towards bringing educational content to your doorsteps. With that in mind, before you invest in anything, we recommend you do thorough, wide-spectrum research on the topic. And make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time on Cardano Land. Bye.